Hello everyone, it's the Mad Mystical Monk here. Today I'm going to discuss some childhood nightmarish stuff that happened to me along paranormal lines and I would like your opinions on it. Please comment, like, and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. And feel free to share this video. Um, when I was a little kid, I was being brought up in Ohio, a small town in Ohio with a wide bridge that should be narrow enough. Um, we lived in a housing complex that had a pretty bad amount of history. Uh, I'll get into the story. I've been, but there was a Ouija board in the attic that one of my brothers decided would be fun to like strand it up there. The ceiling was too weak to hold even a probably a five or six year old's weight because that's about my age at the time. Um, a lot of this stuff was pretty traumatic. And let's just see. Um, one summer night, the window was open. Full moon. I don't know why. It was like every night in that house was a full moon. Um, I didn't have any blinds on my window, so the full moon came directly in all the time. Um, I actually, a car went past, and there was a, a shadow man casted. But the odd thing was the figure formed when the car went by, and it actually stayed on the wall, or standing by the wall over me at the time. At the time, me and my family were all practicing Jehovah's Witnesses, so at the time I screamed Jehovah, I don't know what happened. I got up and ran like hell. Um, sleep paralysis was a common thing when I was younger. It still happens occasionally, but when I was younger, it was like every single day. Sleep paralysis, nonstop. Every night I went to bed, it got to the point where I was literally terrified to go to sleep. Weird things happened there. Stuff I have never really heard in any occult or paranormal networks. I mean, these television shows they put on, it's like, I don't understand. I mean, what they say is tame. Um, like I always say, if 1% of these stories are true, then we live in one weird universe. Just 1% of the stories of elves, fairies, aliens is, are true. What a weird world we live in. Um, during the night, there'd be arguing and fighting, doors and cupboards slamming over and over again to the point where we were truly terrified. Um, we all started sleeping in my mother's room because, you know, that seems to happen a lot. When you live in a house that's haunted by either demons or a poltergeist, people have a tendency to do the tribal thing and get all to get, sleep in the same room. Um, there was always music playing with no source. Like, really early in the morning, 3 or 4 o'clock around that time, the music would start playing. It was like old big band and swing kind of stuff. Like, who listens to that? One night I actually got brave enough to look around the house to see if there was like a record player or a stereo, something, playing the music. And nothing I even went so far as unplug the stereo system that was in the downstairs um, there was an ominous a complete feeling of dread and when you're a little kid you don't know what's going on all you know is what you see with your eyes um, you have a tendency to believe in anything you see I guess because at my age when I was like five or six I seen this stuff and I'm like okay so this must be real but the problem was the only belief system I had to fall back on was once again the Watchtower Bible and Tract Society. So, you know, it wasn't a really good belief system. Spirits actually, I don't know if they were prankster or whatever, but my brother was eating ramen noodles at the time and they literally asked him, Is it good? A spirit was asking my brother if his ramen noodles was good. And we all know ramen noodles are disgusting, right? Yeah. Um, there was, yeah, like I said before, there was supposedly a Ouija board stuck in the attic. Um, it was permanently stuck there because the drywall on the ceiling could not hold people walking across it. I think my brother was being a real schmuck and he just threw the board across the uh, drywall. So there was literally no way to actually get up there and get the board. So let's just find out. Yeah, I'm still terrified of shadow people. So, um, I have a question for you guys. If 1% of the paranormal stories that you have heard are true, what would that mean? Please share and subscribe. 